The contention has been made that the extraneous elements of the Bantu was derived from the tribes of Israel. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you guys an amazing book. These books I'm going to show you guys today, I'm going to blow some of your minds, okay? Before I get started, I want you guys to remember that you can support this channel on Patreon. There is a link in the description below. Anything you guys donate to my channel, I'm going to use it to get more books so I can review more of our hidden history, okay? The true history of the Negroes, the Israelites, guys. That's what I'm going to be doing with any amount of money that you guys donate to my channel. So please go over right now and make a donation, okay? So let's get started with the video we are talking about the bantu people of africa guys okay the bantu can be found in central africa some of them go into south africa okay and you need to know about these people because these people are not gentiles they are not random people guys okay and we have plenty of evidence of this in history books written centuries back okay right now we are reading a book called the land of the heart of Livingstone or the genius of the Bantu it's talking about the Bantu okay one of my viewers some time ago asked me to make a video on the Bantus and um, yeah I'm dedicating this video to him okay so if I find the comments I'm gonna put it right here somewhere okay he asked me to do it so let's see what this book says about the Bantu tribe okay so let's see what it says a study of the Bantu tribe of Africa over 100 million souls with special reference to the agencies which contribute to their civilization okay, so this book was published in 1920 by a man named Reverend N.B. Gomley guys okay he published this book this book is over a hundred years old guys okay so let's go to page 31 within this book okay so let's read this highlighted section of uh, the book guys We're on page 31 the land of the heart of Livingstone. let's see what it says it is allowed that groups of Israelitish peoples have from time to time journeyed into the upper Nile country but this does not seem to sufficiently account for the large access of influence of which the Bantu are the concrete result. In the absence of direct proof of an existential migration, this hypothesis brings us two considerations. Those of customs, religious and otherwise, and also those of language relations. The contention has been made that the extraneous elements of the Bantu was derived from the tribes of Israel which were first carried away to Babylon as related in the scriptures and who afterward in whole or in part migrated through Egypt into equatorial africa guys yes okay they live in central africa where the sun is at the hottest you will see the bantu right there and based on the investigation by the writer of this book he believes that the bantu was the ride from the tribes of israel powerful stuff guys okay so he believes that these were part of those who were carried away to babylon who was carried to babylon guys the jews the kingdom of judah so what this writer is telling you that the bantu they derive from either the tribe of judah or the tribe of benjamin or maybe even the levites who were there okay but of course we cannot forget that there were also other tribes okay other members of the ten tribes who were also sprinkled throughout judah as well okay yes okay it wasn't just judah benjamin and levi yeah those were the major ones but there were also people of the other ten tribes like when you read the book of Judith, for example, Judith was not from Judah or Benjamin or Levi. Okay, I believe she was of 
either Naphtali or Simeon. I can't remember, guys. Okay, she wasn't of the southern kingdom but she was living there guys okay very powerful stuff but they're telling you right here that the bantu are derived from the tribe of israel who were taken to babylon guys very powerful stuff they are jews okay let's see another page okay so here we are now guys on page 34 of this book remember it's called the land of the heart of livingstone okay so let's see what it says about the bantu right here okay it says coincidence in religion and customs we mention only a few points those most noteworthy these are connections between the bantu people and the israelites of the bible guys okay the israelite culture let's see some of the connections between them okay one recognition of the existence and authority of one god the creator originality the bantu as the hebrews were monotheists meaning they worshiped one god guys they don't have multiple god like in Egypt where they have all these Ra and Osiris and all this crap. No, the Bantu, just like the Israelites, are these the ones who kept the laws of God, guys. They worshipped one God, okay? Powerful stuff. Let's see more connections. Number two, the exercise of the priestly office by the headman of the crowd, okay? Family establishment, okay? Like they had a priest, like the Israelites have the Levites, who were the ones who were supposed to perform all the sacrifices to cover the sins of the rest of the ten tribes among the bantu they have someone who plays that role as well guys very powerful stuff let's see the next connection the rite of circumcision practiced universally universally guys by the bantu on male children just like the hebrews guys okay see the connection between the bantu and the israelites guys powerful stuff let's see another connection original attitude of the bantu towards the use of swine's flesh for food the israelites the ones that keep the laws of god do not eat pork guys do not eat swine swine is pork guys another name for pork they don't eat that shit okay that is one of the things now, once the Messiah returns, okay, according to Isaiah chapter 66, verse 16 and 17, that the Messiah is going to kill a lot of people over, guys. Okay, keep that in mind. If you are eating bacon today, you are not keeping the laws of God. Okay, there are many things, many food produced from unclean beasts that you as a Negro, as a Negro, should not be eating guys okay so let's keep going so that is another connection let's see the next one number five another connection between the bantu and the israelites the custom of taking the wife of the deceased brother yes according to the law given in deuteronomy chapter 25 verse 5 yeah yes guys okay that's another connection between the bantu and the israelites guys okay so many laws and practices and customs that these people keep to this day were laws that they kept while they were the Israelites. Powerful stuff, guys. So let's see another one. Peculiarity in the practice of sorcery, similar to those among the ancient Hebrews in the time of degradation and defection from God. I love the fact that they specified when the Israelites started doing this shit, guys, okay? It was a massive sin for the Israelites to do this stuff. And unfortunately, this writer is telling us that the Bantu today still do that stuff, okay? They are degraded. They are picking up some nasty hedonistic practices. This is something that all of us, not just the Bantu, have, okay? Today, many of us are keeping customs, uh, practices, and traditions from the hedonistic nations around us, guys, okay? We need to drop that stuff and return purely to the laws of our God, guys, okay? Very powerful stuff. So the writer of this book was studying the Bantu and he saw so many similarities between them and the Israelites, okay? Okay, so there's one more thing I want you guys to see. We are on page 35, as you can see right here. Let's see what this uh, writer says about the Bantu, okay? The Bantu people had so far degenerated when found by modern Europeans that they had no written speech and but very little is to be found in the way of picture writing. Yet, the Zulu Kafir language to which we may refer as a representative Bantu tongue is in both form and content just such a type of speech as we would expect to be developed from 
the ancient Hebrews, the Israelites. What? The language of the Bantu, the language that Bantu tribes like the Zulus, apparently, the Zulus are part of the Bantus as well. Is that the languages of the Bantu people is the type of speech that we would expect to be developed from the ancient Hebrews, guys. That's powerful. That is very, very powerful. All these kind of books, they don't want the Negroes or the Bantus or the people of the Congo to see this book and wake up to their true heritage, not as Christians or as Muslims, but as the true authentic stock of the Israelites, guys. This is powerful, powerful stuff, okay? If you guys know any Bantus in your life, make sure to share this video so that they can figure out who they are, okay? Rediscover their heritage. They are not nobody's guys. According to Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6, the Bantu, the Jews, the Samaritans, the 12 tribes are a chosen people by God above all the nations on the face of the earth. This is something that the Bantu need to remember, guys. Okay, very powerful stuff. Very, very powerful indeed. Oh.